technique of meniscal realignment surgery in a meniscus root pair. She is a 50 year old female with 2 years history of pain which is increasing for the last 2 months. If you see the x-ray, it is almost an early osteoarthritis picture with starting of reduction of joint space. MRI features a suggestion of a meniscus extrusion along with root tear along with the early onset of arthritis. Most places will treat it with HT or UK, but we have developed this new technique with low profile fixation to address this pathology. This is a unique surgery. So when we go in with an arthroscope, we will see that there is a contral loss on the anterior medial aspect of the tibia, which is corresponding to the femur contral loss as well. And this is because of a non-functional meniscus which is extruding out because of a root tear. So there is a root tear on the posterior part of the knee and the meniscus is extruding from the anterior part leading to a anterior medial contral loss on the tibia. And this is basically a starting of or a pro, uh, in initiation of arthritis in most of these cases. So we have developed this new anchor. This is called as an X fix anchor. This is an extrusion repair anchor. It's an all suture anchor with number zero fi uh, uh, wires. So we use this. So this is an all suture anchor. It goes into the tibia on the anterior medial aspect. And we use will use two of these. So first of this suture anchor is inserted. And then we will use our special suture passers to pass the sutures through the meniscus fragments. Now these all the four suture limbs from this uh, suture are passed sequentially with the use of ideal suture shuttle and chia passers. One by one every suture is passed and that leads to a good uh, purchase of the meniscus. And all these four sutures are sequentially passed from the first X fix anchor. This is almost at the level of the contral defect. The second anchor we will put, we will put just anterior to the contral defect. So this will actually reduce it from anterior to posterior. So again, we are inserting an X fix anchor again. Sequential sutures are passed, all the four suture limbs of number zero wires are passed sequentially and then we will be tying the sutures one by one. So all the four suture limbs are tied, all the four sutures are tried and this will lead to a good coverage of the defect which was there initially. So the contral defect which was there on the anterior middle aspect of the tibia will be almost covered once we have, pulled, we have uh, repaired our uh, meniscus with the suture anchor. So this is the first suture anchor, the second suture anchor and then it is repaired slowly. And this way all the four suture limbs are tied. So the anterior part of the meniscus extrusion repair is done. So we use two anchor for the meniscus extrusion repair. After that we will focus our attention on the posterior part of the knee and this will be actually a root fix anchor. This is again a new anchor that we have developed. This is an all suture anchor with number 0 uh, wires and this is a root repair jig. Uh, so it is inserted in. So uh, we insert a bead pin through that and then we will shuttle this bead pin with a uh, needle and needle is shuttled with a chia. The chia is taken out from there. So this is the, you can see the needle which is coming out. We'll take the needle, uh, 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 suture passer. The chia suture passer is shuttled over a lupin suture, which is again, so the, you can see that the chia suture passer is uh, shuttled with the lupin suture. And the lupin suture is then shuttled with the root fix suture anchor. So this is a very unique suture anchor. Now this anchor is passed retrogradely. So this is pulled in this way and you can see this is the root fix anchor and root fix anchor when we pull it slowly the anchor will just uh, fix into the contral area. So this you can just see that the, when we pull it very very gently and we will just pull it and then it is just if, when, as soon as it goes into the contral area locks there and after that we will be using our knee scorpion device to pass the sutures one by one from there and once we have passed all the sutures so here we are trying to repair in a mason allen fashion because we want it it's like a single row rotator cuff repair so it's a mason allen stitch two sutures 
this is a simple stitch the blue one is a simple stitch and we will tie it nicely once we tie once we tie it the root repair it into its its place so root will reduce into its place once we tie the blue suture and after that the white suture is tied in a mattress fashion so the white suture is then tied in a mattress fashion so this is a mason allen knot which reduces the root very nicely onto its place this is a very very solid repair of the meniscus root and this will reduce the amount of extrusion that the patient has so that this is a third anchor and this is a root fix anchor that we have put and in the end we will put a fourth anchor on the posterior part only so it's close to the root but we we will put it approximately in the posterior part of the tibia and this will aid in further reduction in the extrusion so again we have put we are using a root repair jig we are pu putting a bead pin in we will put a uh, suture uh, a needle a chi is uh, rail loaded over that the root fix anchor is then passed on you can see that the looping fiber is used to pass the root fix anchor the root fix anchor is passed from there as well the root the root fix anchor is locked into its position you can see that the root fix anchor is locked into its position now so it's it's locked nicely and then we are using again the knee scorpion device to pass the sutures sequentially here we'll be using all the four sutures to uh, uh, pass because here we want it as a mattress repair this is almost like a extrusion repair but more on the posterior aspect so by doing this uh, surgery we are actually trying to make a non functional meniscus into a functional meniscus by shifting the meniscus into the joint so the whole philosophy of this uh, surgery is to make the meniscus functional thereby leading to a good uh, shock absorbing or cushion like feature between the femur and the tibia so this is the final picture we have done all the repairs we have put four anchors two x fix anchors two root fix anchors and this is the final repair which you can see one root fix on the back two root fix on the back and then two x fix on the front very nicely repaired and in the end we can do a little bit of micro fracture on to the contal defect on the femur to complete the surgery it the surgery has got a very promising short term results if you have any questions you can put it up on the comment box thank you